Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring here in the Weeping Peninsula. Here are my stats, level 46. We're still going with this. <laughs> Pause it if you want to know anything more. Uh, having fun with this build. Not getting as many backstab opportunities as I would like, but I think I would need some more assassin -y style spells in order to do that. You know what I haven't tried is trying to get up onto these towers to see if there's anything there. All right, what do we want to do right now? We have the Everjail. We have the Everjail right here. We also have that tower, or not tower, but that traveling church mausoleum thing. Yeah, so this, the Weeping Everjail needs to be activated uh, with a single stone sword, which we still have plenty. So let's do it. And uh, let's see, what's my, what are my runes looking like? 1200, yeah, perfect. Let's hop in and uh, see what's inside here. All the loot for the Everjails have been really cool, even if uh, I'm not really well equipped to deal with this. So what do we have? Uh, Ancient Hero of Zamor. Okay, I'm gonna run away. Oh, nice dodge. And again, ouch. Okay. Right. Hmm. <laughs> this could this could be a problem. I get a What do we got? Some ice breath? Wow! Alright, Frida. Oh good damage with carrying great sword. So if I could combo that, that'd be a nice chunk. I mean, he's very confident. Uh-oh. Phase two? Yeah, phase two. All right, all right. Okay. Yep. He's confident for a reason. He can close that distance now really quickly. Watch the breath. Doesn't actually do that much damage though. Nice. Oh, the carrying great sword. The fact that you can charge that up is. Oh! Okay, heal quickly. And then, all right. All we need to do is try and catch him. And uh, okay, we might actually just be able to finish him with flint blade. Unless he does that, which he did. There it is, there it is. Hey, first try, Ancient Hero of Zamor. Now granted, probably over level for this area, but still okay with it. Radagon's Scar Seal. Good, another, another faith item. <laughs> What's different with this Scar Seal? Why am I getting so many Scar Seals? Oh wait, that's a talisman. Scar Seal's a talisman, not Sacred Seals. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, they're different attributes. This one is Vigor, Endurance, Strength, and Dexterity. <gasps> Ooh. By three points. That's not bad. That's really, really good to know. Also, I just realized this... The Maricus Scar Seal would give me extra mind, which maybe that's enough. FP to summon Lutal? I'm not sure. Let's get rid of the Crimson. Let's put on the Rat, uh, not Radigans, but Marikas. Also, I didn't read this. Said to be the seal of King Consort Radigan. Oh, it just says the same thing. These seals represent the lifelong duty of those chosen by the gods. Now, what is my FP? Now it is 106. That's enough. That is enough. Believe it or not, that is enough to summon Lutal. That is exciting. So we have that church. I think I kind of want to head to it. Then again, do I want to check out the beach? 
Now, we gotta go check that wandering church out. We haven't actually gone to one of them. We we're going to go to the one, and we were stopped by the... Those are ghosts of some sort. They are targetable. They're all headless. How much damage are we talking? Ahem. How much damage are we talking? Oh, they're not very strong. Nope, you disappear. Okay. All right. Um, before we go take a look at that roving church. This looks oddly suspicious, like there should be a cave or a catacomb. And there's not. Oh, side of grace, though. That'll work. So how do you get... I assume you have to get on top of it, right? No one in this game has told me about these walking bell tower things. So I'm not sure what to do about it. I, I don't think they're enemies. I could be wrong. like magic. So, let's head over here. Are these going to be like tall necks in Red Zero Dawn where I kind of have to, uh, also, do they kill me? Yeah, do, do I have to like bring them down by attacking? All right, I'm going to do something stupid here. I do break the rocks on them. I don't know why. Are you mad? I can't target them. I'm just wondering if... Hmm. I mean, do you have to do something with breaking these off? It's weird because they look like barnacles. This would be weird if this is it. This would be really weird if this is how you did this. But otherwise, how do you get on? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I imagine this would kill you. I've knocked a bunch of them. But really, this would be like doing them a favor. Oh, you know, they're all like barnacles. They're like skulls. I'm trying to knock these all off. Because when I... I mean... They come off for a reason. You know, let's, uh, let's actually just get off. This might be a little bit easier. Because I can just... Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, something's happening. <gasps> something's happening. Is it lowering? Is it lowering for me because I did that? <gasps> no way. Uh, before it decides to get back up, get on there. This is cool. Uh, just for the record, just in case anyone says, oh, Blue, you must have looked that up. No. No, I didn't. I think that was just, it made sense to me. I have no idea what's in here. This is so exciting. Uh, examine remains. Remembrance Duplication. What? Um... Huh. Alright. So I can duplicate the soul of Godric? Boy, it seems like, you know, a little bit more information on that would have been helpful, but that seems like what it is. I can... I don't know if it's a one-time thing. Did I... I thought I traded something in. Did I not? 
thought maybe I like I did the fist or maybe that was on a no I did I did the grafted dragon does it say I still have one or does it just never leave uh, let's see is it just some of the consumables or tools maybe hmm Okay, no, it says I have zero. Number held zero. I mean, I'm, I have to see what it does, right? Okay, does that mean I now have one? I, I assume that's what it means, right? There it is. And I can no longer use it. Okay, but I know that there's at least one more. So is that what these are for? For duplicating? I see a ghost up there. Maybe that's what these are for. They're for duplicating fossils so you don't have to choose what you actually want to get out of it. That's pretty cool. And is this, this is a new ruin. This is a new ruin. Well, guess what time it is, my friends. It is time. Did not drink that. What are you doing? It's time to test out our new friend here, Lutal. Yeah, this is happening. Darn near all of my uh, of my magic. Which bane? Oh, what? Why am I slow? Can I get out of the bow, please? Oh, uh, so Luto can disappear, which is awesome. Uh, also, there is a flat. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, this, this is poison. This is poison. This is poison. I don't want that. There's one of those weird baseball things like we saw in Kaelid. Or Swamp of Aeonia, I guess, is technically what it was. I don't know if this is too far. Oh, beautiful. Uh, but you know what? I, Yeah, I can just ride. There's no reason not to. Uh-oh. Wow, that's kind of scary. Alright, horseback is the way it goes then. Um, hmm. That thing doesn't take a whole lot of magic damage. I guess I shouldn't be too terribly surprised there. What? How am I going to kill you? Hopefully Lutal gets up in there. That's what I'm going for. Uh, how far? I don't actually know where that's landing. Okay, it seems like it doesn't go very far. It's kind of protecting itself. Okay. Let's get... Here. Ugh. Gosh, wrong button, as always. I mean, Luto's doing great. I just think those things are gonna hurt. All right, you know what? Let's just let's just fire. Oh my gosh, that's terrible! But you know what? It's safe. I just I don't trust getting close to that thing. Little, I wish you would actually get up there. You're kind of not proving your worth here. I mean, health-wise, you are. My gosh. Also, I forgot to go back and try and upgrade him. Or upgrade her, excuse me. My apologies. Alright, one more. Oh, there we go. Luthal with the spear throw. Nice. Excellent job. And you dropped. Cuckoo Glenstone. Cuckoo? Cuckoo? Cuckoo. I don't know. Alright. What were you guarding? This... Ooh. 
you are you are a prisoner ambush shard. what is ambush shard i know there's someone here who clearly needs my help and i go ooh new spell strikes from behind with projectile fired from distance excuse me launches a projectile from a distance removed from the casters no way this sorcery can be cast repeatedly selling sorcerers were assassins and it is said that they often hunted their fellows oh oh, oh we're using that is this selling no they just wear the mask that's right it'll do no good i swear it oh look she's being held by crystals possibly also daggers in her hand yes you persist you frothing degenerates all right oh come on I gotta be able to free you it will do um hmm how do I free her without... How do I free her? Without hurting her. Mm. Oh, gosh. All right, I'm going to have to try and hit it. Nope, 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 nope. That was... That was... How do I free you? That <laughs> loot so cool. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not getting any indication on what to do here. Also, why do you have the dark sign on your shield? <laughs> Just realized that. That's awesome. No, I don't see anything. I don't see anything I can do unless, I mean, maybe I go back to Selen and see if she has anything to say about it. I mean, it's definitely an option, right? Yeah, let's do that. Let's go back. So that's the Wayside Ruins right here, right? Let's go back and see if she has anything to say about our new friend that we just met down there. Also, we haven't been back here in a while. I don't think I have any scrolls. There you are. Shall we commence? No, nothing. Nothing. That is a shame. That is a shame. Mm. What do I do with that? What do I do with that individual? Ah. I don't know. You can't just break the crystals. I can't talk to her in any way meaningful. My only thought is it's a situation like in Bloodborne or in Demon Souls where you have to wear a specific set of armor in order to engage with them properly. Because maybe she doesn't realize that it's me. Oh, interesting. I didn't realize you guys were here. So I don't know. I don't know. Although, ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't talk to you. That's right. Kind of in, you know, being hunted. Oh, there it is. The tower. Finally, I can return to our home bathed in rays of gold. Nope. Not helpful. Not helpful. All right, we're going to just head down. Looks like there's maybe a structure here. Um, whoa. Yeah, we're gonna have to... There's an, an item I missed. But what we're gonna do is, let's, let's hop down there, let's grab that item. I am sure it has nothing to do with rescuing. Is this crystal bud? No, poison. Yeah, it's a poison swamp. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll come across a note or something that will trigger a... Oh, okay. This is what I need to do. But as of right now, I am a bit at a loss. Okay. Let's... Ooh, hello. I like the look of just some houses down here on the beach. 
another side of grace. And I love this. I don't know why. This is just so atmospheric. All of these walking, shambling, ambling undead on the beach. It's really cool. So what is this place? Oh, we got a merchant. Excellent. We should have plenty of runes to spare. And this is called the Isolated Merchant Shack. Fitting name. Well, it's been an age since I, how can I help? Oh, here your mask. at the end of the earth. Lantern, I already have. More stone sword keys. Oh, lost ashes of war. I already have one. Oh, the Zweihander. Excellent. And then we have the sacrificial twig, which I heard is actually a talisman. I asked for information on how that works. Basically, you buy these, you put them in your talisman slot. When you die, you don't lose runes. Um, but it's broken. Now, what is this? Walking my. Oh, I kind of figured that out. But i uh, tell you what, let's buy. I have six of them. I don't need more. Just remember that they're here, which I won't remember, but they are here. Um, I'm going to buy one just, just to have it. And arrows, we are looking fine. Have a safe journey. I plan on it. Thank you. Oh, right. I want to read that. I'm sure the mausoleum say something about just clear the barnacles off of their... Uh... What? Huh. I haven't had too many glitches <laughs> in this playthrough. I think we're about due. Yeah, it's, uh, I think I opened up the map while I was also simultaneously trying to mount Torrent. And that caused me to simply, uh, yeah, float there. Excellent. That was super fun. So anyway. What we wanted to do was take a look at the walking mausoleums. To stop the mausoleum stride, you'll need to clean up around its feet first. Yep. You know, it just made sense. I don't know. That felt very, very Zelda-y in a really, really good way. Like, as soon as I broke one of those skull barnacle things, and it kind of crumbled like that, but it didn't just break off. Like, it, it kind of vanished as if it was some sort of... Uh, Spirit Barnacle <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say But it, this game it does a really good job At making you feel Well sometimes feel good about When you figure out puzzles Now runes What kind of what level One I saw that there's wolves over there Three Interesting that the wolves watch over these One I wonder if this is supposed to be like man's best friend watching over. Oh man, this is a bunch of low level. Yeah, that was not very good. However, Alpha Wolf, do you have maybe a cave hiding behind you? No? What about over here, cliffside? No, you do not. I like that I also don't feel the need to actually kill every enemy. This is the first time I've played a FromSoft game that I do feel okay running past certain things when I know I just don't need them. And did that beacon disappear? It did. I love that. Oh, I did just ride past the skull. I said I never do that. I totally do that. Totally do that. Okay. So, that's Tomb's word. Oh, we're almost at the uh, Mine Earth Tree. Let's go to this little, I guess, pond-looking thing? Oh, wait a minute. There's also... We'll go to two first. Oh, that's that tower right there. I did did not need a beacon for that. Uh, we got a rider here. You look a little uh, important, but you know what I have? Something you don't. I have a lootal. Oh, you poor thing. Hey, big hit, big hit. Oh, Lutal, monster. You are dead. Oh, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Didn't realize I was being hunted like that. And I just despawned Lutal. And 
right. Oh, yeah, because there's a ballista up top there. All right, let's um, we'll just do this. I think we're out of range here. No reason for me to dismount other than I just wanted to. Also, that was my <laughs> staff. Okay. Remember, you do slightly less damage when you are on horseback. Come on. I tell you what, let's do a little gravity well action. Excellent. Okay, tower or return? I don't know why I got flashback. There's obviously at least one more enemy up top. What's going to be up here? I am really liking Weeping Peninsula. Not not ridiculously easy, but something that, you know, is it feels very doable. Deal with you. Is there a treasure chest? Oh, there is. Oh, oh no. Oh, ho, ho. I was just going to say I'm getting complacent. Oh, I want to know where it takes me, though. I want to know where it takes me. This isn't far, right? No. All right. <laughs> Wish me luck. Oh, boy. Lane Dell Royal Cat. What? What? First off, I love, love, love how bright this is. Uh, that's the Erd Tree. Wow. I shouldn't be here. I think we can all agree to that. Can I call this up, whatever it is? Nope. Great. Something bad's about to happen to me. Um, how many? Uh, 4,000. Oh, there's a Sight of Grace, though. So I can actually leave as soon as I rest here. Look at the size of that thing. Now, I assume that I can fast travel now that I'm here, right? I can. All right. Well... We will in a moment. Yep, sure. Can't ride Mr. Torrent. Um, I just want to see if there's anything. That looks like a defunct sending gate. And, oh, treasure. We have to know what's in there. Watch it be another trap chest. Please be nice. Please be nice. Please be nice. Blessed Dew Talisman. Okay, let's do talisman. We'll take a look at that as soon as we can here. All right, blessed do. It uh, slowly, oh, slowly restores HP. Talisman depicting a drop of the Erdtree sap, a blessed boon. It was once thought that the blessed sap of the Erdtree would drip from its boughs forever, but that age of plenty swiftly came to a close, and with time, the Erdtree became more an object of faith. Passive health regeneration sounds awesome. There's nothing else I can do here other than kill that sentinel, which I don't really care to, so that was awesome. That was really cool. We're going to go back to, let's see. Is Tombs worth the best? Now we'll just do the Isolated Merchant Shack. I want to do a test. I want to take some damage and see. I mean, it's probably like one HP a second, if that. But I think that's going to have to wait until next time. All right. So we have explored a good chunk of the Weeping Peninsula, but we still have, we still have 
uh, this little pond area, we have the minor earth tree, and then we still have pretty much all of this. So actually, I would say we're about two-thirds of the way explored. Depending on how big Castle Morn is, that could be way, way off. But this is great. This is a lot of fun exploring here. Also, 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 blue, before you forget, because you're going to want to do this next time, you got that cool new sorcery. Let's equip it. What are we not using a lot of? We are not using a whole lot of... Well, let's let's trade out the Glint Blade Phalanx for the Ambush Shard. There we go. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying, and I will absolutely see you next time still in the Weeping Peninsula.